Welcome to the Boost Your IQ video series. This series demonstrates setup and operation of unique features on the Liquid Control's IQ family of registers. Be sure to follow our YouTube channel and you will be notified as new features are released in this video format. I'm Jeff Hageman and today I'm going to demonstrate the configuration of dual or multimeter print functionality on the IQ register. For today's demonstration, we've added an additional IQ register so that we can properly demonstrate all the setup and functionality that is required to implement this new feature. The IQ network feature allows us to take a primary or master register and connect that directly to a printer. That printer can be either a serial printer or a wireless printer. Using a 485 network, we can then connect multiple registers to the master register as secondary or slave registers. Once connected to the network, the secondary or slave register will pass its printing information to the master or primary register over a 485 connection that is made between the master and slave registers. This connected cable comes as a part number from Liquid Controls, part number 84515. In that kit is the cable along with this setup instruction sheet that walks you through the wiring and configuration for the dual meter print sharing configuration. If we zoom in and look at the hardware connection for this feature, you'll see that the primary register or register 1 is connected to the printer via the normal serial interface cable. This could also be a Bluetooth interface as well, but for this example we show it with the serial connection as the primary connection to the printer. Between register 1 and register 2, or the master and slave register, there is a cable connection that goes between the two registers over a 485 bus. In this case, we're using the port J5, which is COM port 2. This same cable also has an additional two wires for networking a second 485 connection in the case that you have a third-party interface that wants to communicate 485 between the two registers. If we zoom down on the same document, you'll see there's a section here on register configuration to enable the dual meter print sharing. This is what we'll follow to demonstrate how to set up this feature on both the master and slave registers. You'll note that this document describes dual meter print sharing. However, this feature does allow for multiple registers to be connected over the same cable connection and daisy chained together to form one link passing printing through each register off to the master. To set up this feature, I'm going to put each register into the calibration mode so we can access the settings needed to configure the registers. To do this, I'm going to take the bolt on the side of each register and rotate it counterclockwise about six turns until the register enters the calibration position. Currently my printer is not hooked up to this chain, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit abort print on each register so that I can access the main menu. Once I'm at the main menu, on both registers I'm going to scroll down to the setup menu and then press OK to access the setup menu options. Once in the setup menu options, I'm going to scroll down to the I.O. setup section and again I'm going to press OK on both registers. I am now in I.O. setup screen 104 on both registers. If we zoom in on the primary or master register, register 1, you'll see an IO setup screen 104 is where we configure all the settings for the primary register. The first thing we do is press the services button. Once we press the services button, we want to make sure that the LCR IQ network is set to yes or activated. Once we verify that it's activated, we can press the close button and go back to IO setup screen 104. This will enable the feature to set up COM port 2 as our LCR IQ network. So you'll see on my example, I already have it set up here, but if you scroll to COM 2 and press OK, you'll see from the list you can choose LCR IQ network as a service once it's enabled. And then it will walk you through all the standard settings. If you follow the chart, on the paper that was given with your dual meter kit, it'll tell you to use a baud rate of 115200, 200 millisecond timeout, and one retry. 
Once that information is entered, the COM port for the master register or register one is set up. The other settings you have to make sure that you set up are down here at the bottom. So once you enable the feature for LCR IQ network, these features down here will show up on IO screen 104. The master slave setting needs to be set to master. In this case, since this is my main register, it will be set to master. And then the number of slave devices in this case is going to be set to one because I only have one additional register connected in this chain. So now we'll zoom in on the second register. So you'll see the second register is in IO screen 104 as well. We'll press the services button to ensure that the LCRIQ network is set to yes and activated. In this case, it already is done. I'll hit the close button. And now again, I would go down to COM2 and follow the configuration settings. So in this case, COM2, again, we'd select the LCRIQ network as our option. We'd set the baud rate at 1150-200, the timeout at 200, and the retries at 1. Then we'd scroll down to the bottom of the screen again on the slave register, and we make sure that we set the master slave setting to slave. We set the node address to, in this case, 1. Now, if we had multiple registers, we would set each register to its own node address. In this case, we only have one slave register, so we set that to one. And then the required host support, we'd set that to ticket printing, because that's the feature that we're enabling now. If you follow these configuration settings for register one and register two accordingly, you'll find that the printer sharing function is very simple and easy to set up in the configuration settings. So now that we have both registers configured according to the configuration document, we can now connect in our printer using that same document. In my case, I have the main serial cable going to my serial printer and then the 485 connection going between both registers over COM port 2. Now that the hardware configuration is complete, I can place both registers back in the normal operating position by threading the bolt on the side of the register back into the housing until it's tight. So I'll start with the secondary register and you'll see once the bolt is in automatically a calibration ticket prints on to my printer. Now I'll do the same with the master register and thread the bolt in until it's tight against the housing and you'll see that now I get a calibration ticket from my primary register. You will notice that there is a slight time difference between printing on the primary register and the secondary register. This is due to the fact that information that's passed from the secondary register through the primary register takes a slight bit more time to get to the printer. So now to demonstrate this feature, I'm going to press the home button on both registers to get back to the main home screen for the delivery. And you'll see I have two registers, one configured for gasoline and one for configured for diesel. I'm going to go ahead and just do a simultaneous delivery on both registers so you can see this function in action. So I'll press start on both registers and begin a delivery. You can see that both registers are currently in an active delivery. Now if I wanted to end the delivery and print the ticket on both registers, I can print the first one by pressing end and then hit end on the second register as well and then that register will print its ticket. Standard liquid controls printing rules apply when using this feature. This means that if you have your ticket required set to yes, you have to print a ticket from both registers in order to clear the register for the next delivery. In this case, if you try to print a delivery ticket from both registers at the same time, the first register will be printing while the second is trying to print, and this will cause an error on the screen to tell you that the ticket is pending. To demonstrate this feature, I'll press start on both registers and start a delivery. And then I'll end the delivery on both registers at the same time. Both registers will try to send their print information to the ticket printer, but you'll see the primary register reached the printer first. The secondary register is displaying a status ticket pending message. And down here you'll see print last delivery ticket. So you can press that and that will print off that delivery ticket for that register. Once the second ticket is completely printed, you'll notice that the start button turns yellow again and you can now do a delivery on that register. Thank you for watching this episode of Boost Your IQ. 
on the IQ Network printer sharing configuration. If you have any other technical questions on the IQ products, please do not hesitate to contact Liquid Control's Technical Services Department. Thank you.